so as we watch this crisis unfold in West Africa and the scramble to save lives, it begs the question of how we actually got to this point. Did Western attitudes uh, towards poorer countries, well, did they actually help to exacerbate the outbreak? Did rich countries do enough to promote strong healthcare systems in the region? Let's look at that for the next few minutes with Martin Drury, who's the director mm -hmm. of the NGO Health Poverty Action, an international development organisation with a focus on health. Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, to what extent do you think the West has exacerbated the problems in West Africa? Mm. Well, the important thing to remember is that whilst uh, an outbreak of Ebola is, has, is caused biologically, an Ebola epidemic is caused by a rundown health system. And um, if you think of the health system in Sierra Leone, where Health Poverty Action works, pre-Ebola, then you had 320 hospital beds in the whole country. You had 110 doctors in the whole country. Um, the, the workload for one midwife, one midwife would be 17 and a half thousand births. Impossible uh, uh, to cope. That's pre-Ebola. Now, at the same time, as you can imagine, uh, the uh, how stretched the health system is in uh, Sierra Leone right now, there are. Uh, a, 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 lot, a significant number of health workers paid, whose training was paid for by Sierra Leone working in the UK. And that's been one of the things that caused the rundown of health systems across Africa. So, so the attraction of health workers from West Africa to various European countries, even to America, mm. you think, has added to the problem. Isn't that slightly mm. simplistic? Because you mentioned the numbers of, of hospital beds. We were just talking there about uh, just mm. the numbers of cases yeah. That would have overwhelmed however many doctors there were there in place, would it not? Well, it would have overwhelmed however many doctors were in place at this stage. But if the health system had been stronger, then it would have been possible to uh, probably stop it developing to this same level. I think the important thing is that um, when we look at the reason that health systems are weak in Africa, it's important not just to look at the aid that's flowing in, but the resources that are flowing out. H how do you explain why Nigeria... Presumably the same push-pull factors are in play. How do you explain yeah. they have succeeded where those other countries have not? If you remember, one of the things that uh, the doctor said was that in uh, Nigeria it was possible to make use of a system that had been set up to deal with polio. So uh, that was one thing that was already in place. And also uh, with Sierra Leone, you're looking at the 183rd uh, uh, level of health indicators out of 187 in the world. So it's much, much more resource poor. And in the UK, one of the things that we've been saying is that if we're going to recruit workers to work in the UK health system that are trained by Sierra Leone, we should pay compensation for that. Well, I was going to come on to exactly how you combat it, because the yeah. World Bank has pointed to the same basic problem as something to, to learn from post crisis but mm. it is the nature of migration isn't it people there in West Africa some of them will want to better themselves mm. that's why they move to other countries it, it, it's yeah. the way migration works is it not yeah so how do you yeah. actually combat it and uh, and, we, and we certainly wouldn't want to say that people shouldn't have the right to migrate but there need to be um, systems put in place to stop um, uh, uh, health systems proactively recruiting and uh, one mechanism of reducing that the UK uh, for, for a decade or more very very strongly uh, deliberately recruited health workers from Africa and um, want the, the simple way to stop that kind of thing happening is to ensure that compensation is paid for any health worker recruited for the training costs. Well Martin thanks very much for Thank coming you. in to speak to us.